We are back with a Fox News alert. Two people are dead after a tornado leveled a motel and mobile home park near Oklahoma City. We have team coverage as the frantic search for survivors is now underway. Kicking off our team coverage is Wayne Stafford from our Fox affiliate in Oklahoma City. He's live in El Reno, Oklahoma, where people are waking up to the devastation. Wayne, good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, the devastation is everywhere, but hardest hit is right here behind us to this trailer park and this motel. Uh, this is the Skyview trailer park they're looking at right now, just west of the American budget and hit hard by a tornado late last night at 1030. It has been confirmed that this is a deadly tornado. Two people have been d killed, several others injured. This is according to the mayor. Now, we spoke to a man who was in the American budget in when this tornado hit. Here's what he had to say. Big heavy rain and all of a sudden just a bunch of wind and all the glass in the room started breaking at the motel and I crawled in the bathtub and when I got up everything's pretty much gone. Now everyone has been asked to go and stay away from the area for a while while first responders continue their search efforts uh, and they're assessing the damage as well. Residents at the Skyview Trailer Park have been moved to the VFW at 1515 South Rock Island and uh, they're asking folks just to stay clear of this area. Right now, search crews are looking for any survivors. They have dogs out there and they are looking frantically for anyone who might have been overlooked and that is what's going on right now. Right now, it is still very early. It's still very dark. The sun hasn't quite risen, and so it's still going to take some time before the damage can be assessed and things can start going on the path to going back to normal here in El Reno, Oklahoma. Back to you. All right, Wayne, thank you very thank much. You. Thanks, Wayne. Now to Chief Meteorologist Rick Reichmuth, who is tracking where that severe weather is headed now. Guys, we are so stuck in a pattern right now, and it's been about nine days that we've been seeing severe weather every day right across the plains. We've had over 200 reports of tornadoes. Today, that threat moves a little to the west of where it was yesterday. You see right all along the high plains, western Nebraska, western Kansas, eastern Colorado, down through the panhandles again of Oklahoma and Texas. Uh, and a bigger threat today, actually, than we saw yesterday of severe weather. I want to point out across parts of the Ohio Valley towards the Mid-Atlantic uh, threat of severe weather later on today uh, also. That that threat, uh, I don't think, is as conducive for tornadoes as what we see back across the high plains. This is a storm system that moved through El Reno. It's just to the west of Oklahoma City. Six years ago, it was hit by an EF3 tornado that was actually the widest tornado ever recorded, and it caused all kinds of damage in El Reno. So six years later, hit again in that same town. All part of this system, I will say, there's one last little piece of this energy that develops across Kansas. Uh, very strong winds right across central Kansas right now. This is that storm. To the east of it, it's very clear, along with that storm, guys, incredible amounts of rain. The flooding pictures that are coming in also are extreme. We're going to see more of that at this, as this area for the next week continues to see a lot more rain. Guys, the next wow. Week. wow, not out of it yet. Not That's at all. unbelievable.